today I'm going to show you how you can make your very own tassels without having to purchase fringe or ready-made tassels, which can be quite expensive. This is a much more inexpensive way to make your own. Um, I do have like pieces I pick up on sale um, from scraps of bolts that have been marked down, but you can see this is one I made on my own on the snowman. Here's some fringe I've collected, and what you'll do is roll it. If you're gonna use that type of fringe, you'll roll it and you'll glue it. And then um, once you've got it as thick as you want it, you attach it to the bottom of your salt shaker. There's a ready-made tassel, same way, just attach it, it's ready to go. You can use felt, cut in strips, flannel strips, use zigzag scissors if you'd like, and you can get a zigzag edge, or you can just use straight scissors, and yarn of course. You can also use embroidery floss, anything you think would make a nice tassel. For yarn or embroidery floss, you wrap it around and around a cardboard, twice as long as you want your tassel. You pull a strip of yarn through, as I'm doing here, and you will tie it in a knot. Um, I usually tie it in two knots, as tight as you can get it. Hold the first one in place um, so it stays snug while you tie a second knot. And then I will slip it, just slip it off the card, and then um, go on and tie the rest of the um, tassel in half. And once you do that, you cut the loops from each end, and there you have a tassel, nice and thick. Because you double it up that way by wrapping it around twice as long. And then your ta your strips of fabric, if you're cutting like that, you need to make sure they are twice as long as you want your tassel to be also, so that when they fold in half, they will be the correct length. So for my snowman, I used felt and flannel and yarn. And I gathered them all together. Once you get your tassel put together, you just hold it like that, and trim off the ends. They're gonna be uneven. So you always wanna make your tassel a little bit longer than you think it should be, so that you'll have room for trimming it off. Um, once you get it tied together, here's the one for my white grape salt shaker that I made. Um, I'm fluffing it up. Now I'm gonna make a little loop around with the excess yarn. You can just wrap string around if you want, or you can use the excess yarn that you tied the center with and make a little slip knot and pull it tight. Then use the other one and wrap it in the opposite direction and do the same thing. Make a little slip knot, pull it tight, and then I usually go in and wrap it around a couple more times, depending on how long the excess yarn is, and then tie it in a nice tight knot. And there you'll have a little extra detail. You don't even have to do that. You can just glue the, the tassel right to the bottom, but to me that gives it a little more finished look to have it um, tied together close to the top and then trim off the ends. Um, once you've got it trimmed and ready to glue on and your salt shaker has already got its little wired pieces on, um, you can go on and trim it out um, over that piece if you want. Or and even when you glue it to the bottom, it looks nicer sometimes to go on and put a little trim between the salt shaker and the tassel itself. I don't always do that. Um, I didn't in this case, but sometimes I do. It just needs a little more finished look. This piece of bead trim was just a scrap I had. I thought it'd be a little prettier to add on top of the yarn fringe that I made, but it needed a little more finishing out. So I bought some ribbon, uh, I had some ribbon on hand, and I glued it around just to finish it out a little more, give it a little touch of gold and hide that edge that the beads are attached to. Here's my Santa Claus. I used kind of a fuzzy yarn that makes cute shawls when I knit, but I wasn't sure if I liked it for the tassel, but it's, I don't know, it's kind of cute. And then there's the one I made for the, for the snowman. These are some I've made in the past um, for a little bird salt shaker. And those I used some ready-made fringe. You can see I have to add bead and some trim at the base of the salt shaker. Those needed a little more finishing out. There I used beads only for tassel, and they worked great. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you didn't see the first one, click down below to watch how I actually turn the salt and pepper shakers into tassels.